everybody. So good to be with you today. Thanks for tuning in for this time for Encouraging Words Together. I believe with all my heart that when we turn to the Lord, when we put our hope in Him, when we read His Word so that we can apply it to our lives, as we trust in Him, His Word changes us from the inside out. His voice speaks to us by, by the Holy Spirit, and we can find as we devote our hearts to him, real strength and encouragement from the Lord. I'm thankful that he's with us right now, wherever we are, to pour out the very strength that we need. Thanks for tuning in today. I want to share a verse from John's first letter, and uh, it's the the last chapter of that letter, chapter 5. And he starts off that chapter by talking about... um, Any person who believes that Jesus is the Christ, the Anointed One, the Messiah, that that person is born of God. And so there's a change that happens from the inside out when we put our trust in Christ. That's a common theme from John, both in his letter but also in his gospel. You might recall in the third chapter of John's gospel, Jesus had a conversation with a Pharisee named Nicodemus. And Nicodemus had real questions for Jesus and wanted to know, you know, who he was and, and, and had this understanding that he's from God, but, but didn't know what steps to take. And, and Jesus told Nicodemus that unless he was born um, of the Spirit, it was uh, that he, had, if he, he could be born again if he was born of the Spirit. And so we understand that as we put our trust in, in Jesus, trusting in who he is, the Son of God who came to earth, who gave his life as an atoning work um, for our sins, to, um, to then be raised by the Father from the dead and, and to ascend back into heaven, that all who trust in Jesus as the Messiah and believe those things, we become remade. Born again is the biblical term. And so in his letter then to the church, John says, this is true. It doesn't matter who you are, what your background is, what your history is, what your religious history, your social history, how you were raised. None of that matters. If you believe in Jesus, then you are born of God. And if we love the Lord with all our hearts, We'll do what he says. We'll honor him. There's a change. Just like any child wants to honor his parents and um, and do those things that, that please them, so also children born of God want to honor their Heavenly Father. And then John makes a promise to all the folks born of God, all those who believe in Jesus the Christ. And that's our verse tip for, uh, for today. 1 John chapter 5, verse uh, 4. He says this, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. A couple of thoughts here as we take a look at this portion of Scripture. Everyone born of God overcomes the world. What's he mean? Who's the world? Well, he's not talking about people. He's talking, and he's not talking about the planet, like the earth is something we are meant to overcome. But he is talking about the systems of this world, the ways of this world, the way this world thinks, the sinful pressures that come from this world, the heartache, the uh, pol- uh, uh, political, um, I don't know what the right word is, um, but the, the jockeying for power that people go through, that are the ways of our our leaders and countries and nations, the system of warfare, the the hatred that often people have and biases that they have uh, toward one another in this life. These are all the sinful ways of the world. And the world certainly brings us all challenges. There are relational challenges. There are emotional challenges. There are physical temptations. There are the challenges that come with heartache and pain and disappointment and anger and frustration and all of these are like a weight that people end up carrying and I don't know whose shoulders are big enough to carry the weight of the world it's why we need a savior but John declares under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that if you're born of God in other words if you are trusting in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior if you've been remade because you've confessed him, the Lord Jesus, as, as your personal Lord and Savior, that there's a promise that we can overcome the world. In fact, he, he doesn't even leave room for doubt. Anyone born of God overcomes the world. It is the result. 
And that's because the world and its ways don't have the final say over those who trust in Christ. Those who trust in Christ are given a whole series of benefits. The promised indwelling of the Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us, to reassure us, to give us wisdom and comfort and direction. It uh, includes the, the promise that the Lord is with us at all times, that he never leaves us, never forsakes us. And so even in those moments when we feel like we're alone, we aren't. The Lord is with us. And even if all of life closes in in a pressing way, we can know that there is more to this life than, than this earthly plane. There is the promise of eternity forever in the presence of God where we are remade, where we are whole, where he wipes away every tear, where there's no more fear or death or sorrow or crying or pain or any of that, only joy and peace and love forevermore. This is the hope that the Lord promises to all those who trust in Christ. Are you carrying the weight of the world today? Are you feeling the pressures of this life? I get it. There are seasons and things in life that are hard to bear. Can I encourage you, hold on to your faith in the Lord. Hold on to your belief. Choose to trust him and to act on him. And in those moments when that faith is challenged, turn that into a prayer. Say, Lord, I am really hurting today or I'm really challenged today, but I'm choosing to hold on to you. Would you give me your peace, your reassurance, your hope? And the promise is for all who are born of God, we will overcome. That's a great thought. Hold on to that truth. It's a promise just for you. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord, I'm praying today for those who need the reality of that promise. Lord, who are feeling the struggle of this life through all the disappointments that happen, the, the heartache, the confusion, the travesties that come our way. Lord, we live in a world tainted by sin, and the impact of that is we are still impacted from time to time. It still affects our lives, but Lord, we choose not to allow it to direct our lives. Our hope is in you, and I thank you that in every trial, you are with us. We choose to hold on to our faith, and we ask for your help. Lord, that you would strengthen our faith as we read your word, as we hide it in our hearts, as we, as we do what we know to do to draw near to you. We ask for your assistance and help to sustain us. I thank you for the promise of eternal life. You're with us in the here and now. And often you move in such a way that we experience real relief and answers. But Lord, we also recognize that your, um, your love isn't confined to this world. It extends beyond, and we long for the day where we stand before you completely whole. Thank you for that promise to end for all who put their trust in you. We receive today comfort and strength from you through your word and by your Holy Spirit. Thanks for hearing our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. You are meant to overcome. Trust in the Lord. He will see you through. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Here at Friendship Village, we work hard to show you these videos three times a day. This video will air at 4.30. It repeats at 8 o'clock at night, and then we'll show one more time 8 o'clock the following morning. We do that every day, Monday through Friday, and encourage you to tune in um, wherever uh, you uh, want that sense of encouragement. You can also find this video online on our, our YouTube page. Simply go to um, youtube.com backslash the at symbol then fvc chaplain and not only will you find this video but all of our memorials bible studies sunday services please uh, go through those links watch any of these videos at your own leisure if you're watching online do you know someone that could be encouraged by today's video perhaps consider sending them the link you can also click on this circle right here to subscribe to these videos online or click on the box below to see any in our past history. It's always good to spend this moment with you. God bless you, and we will see you next time.